Now, in a week's time, you could be watching TV and your screen will just go blank. Digital UK is warning that a million homes in the capital still rely on the old analogue si signal. Now, the digital switchover happens from next Wednesday, April the 4th, and the change is made from a transmitter in Crystal Palace. From there, Nick Thatcher has more. It's been a symbol of television in London since the 1950s, and the giant Crystal Palace transmitter beams programmes into millions of homes across the capital and beyond. But over the next few weeks, the analogue channels broadcast from here will be turned off, and up to a million TV sets could be left with blank screens. As we know, most people already have digital on their main TV sets, but it's important to remember that set in your bedroom, in the children's bedroom, in the kitchen, in the conservatory. Every single set has to be ready to receive the digital signal. Digital switchover in London promises to bring with it an increase in signal strength and free view services for 400,000 more homes. So in the old transmission suite, the first of the five analogue channels will be turned off next Wednesday and the rest will go on April the 18th. Analog ITV1 disappears from our screens in just three weeks time and it's the job of someone here at the Crystal Palace transmitter to pull this lever and signal the end. It's a very exciting time for us here at Crystal Palace. Uh, we've been building the, uh, the new DSL transmitters for the last two years and the antenna system. So I get to do the fun bit at the end, um, to flick the switch, um, turn off the analogue services and bring on for the first time the high-powered digital services. Of course, digital television received through satellite or cable services is not affected by the changes. But if you have free view, you'll need to retune your set-top box or television on Wednesday the 4th next week and again after Wednesday, April the 18th. And if you've yet to switch, there is support and advice available, so you're not left in the dark as television in London embraces its digital future. Nick Thatcher, London Tonight, Crystal Palace. The horses that